Okay, so uh, have you ever heard someone say cancel culture? Definitely. Like, who hasn't? Right. It's one of those things, right? Everyone's talking about it, but like, mm -hmm. what does it actually mean, especially for mm -hmm. businesses? That's what we're digging into today. Reputation marketing in the age of, well, you said it, cancel culture. Mm -hmm. This stuff spreads online so fast. Faster than ever. And it really is more than just like, oh, get good reviews. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's way deeper than that. It's yeah. how do you make your business almost like immune? Right. Like, how do you... I don't know, build it to withstand anything. Totally. So the sources we're looking at, they keep using these two words, proactive and reactive. Did you see that? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know if you see this too, but it's almost like reactive is, well, imagine a bad Yelp review, one. Okay, annoying, but yeah. manageable. Yeah, exactly, but hundreds of bad reviews. Or suddenly everyone's saying this one bad thing. It's like the wildfire, you're reacting. It, being proactive is, it's almost like damage control before the damage. Yeah, or like sure. you're fireproofing before the spark even happens. You're like, my business, not flammable. Love that. So less putting out fires, more like fireproofing the whole company. Mm. OK, got it. But how do you actually do that? What does that even look like? Right. So one of the sources had this example, and it was about a tech company, and they were moving some of their stuff overseas. Uh oh, yeah. You can already see where this is going. Right. Like huge PR nightmare waiting to happen. Right, job losses, all that. Yeah. But they got ahead of it. They were on social media explaining everything, super transparent. They even highlighted how this move would actually create more jobs here, just not the same jobs, right. you know? Interesting. So they sort of flipped the narrative before anyone else could. Exactly. They even had Q and A's with employees, experts, the whole thing. They neutralized the issue before it even became one, which I think is just brilliant. So smart. They were like, here are the concerns you're going to have, and here's why you shouldn't worry. Exactly. Exactly. It seems like transparency is so key, you can't just hide stuff anymore. Oh, no. Not a chance. And this is another thing the source talks about, engagement. You can't just, like, have a website and be like, hope they like us. Nice. you got to be in the comments, responding to things, showing you know your stuff, and not just in a salesy way. Think about, like, Patagonia. Okay, yeah, they're always out there, very vocal about their beliefs. Right, and whether you agree with them or not, it feels real. Not like some marketing team was like, let's tell them we care about the environment. It goes back to building that trust. Yeah. Right, like you were saying before. Okay, so we've talked about being proactive, but you used a really good phrase earlier, wildfire of bad PR. Yeah. And, I mean, it seems like cancel culture can really throw gasoline on that, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. Things can spiral so fast. The source actually mentioned this case study, and I don't think I can say the company name. Right. Got to be careful. But basically, their CEO at a conference made some offhand comments. Not even about the business, yeah. but it went viral. Wow. So it's not even always about, like, what your company does. It's the whole package. And it can be tiny stuff. Like you used to think, oh, a company, they build their name over years, not anymore. It can be one tweet, gone. So companies got to be really careful these days, huh? I think so, yeah. It's not just avoiding disaster. It's actively building that good side online, putting out good content, actually engaging with people, not just, you know. Saying the right things robotically. Exactly. It's got to be real. So if our listener is taking away one thing from this whole deep dive we're doing. Yeah, what's the big one? It's that this reputation stuff, it never stops. You don't just do it once, especially now. Cancel culture, you've got to be on it all the time. Couldn't agree more. And, you know, it makes you wonder if it's this important for a whole business. What about for us? Just regular people online? Ooh, good point. Something to think about, right? Exactly.